Have you ever imagined flying your own aircraft? Not a commercial jet or a private luxury plane, but a small, nimble aircraft that almost feels like an extension of yourself. Well, today we're diving deep into the world of mini aircraft, some of the tiniest and most impressive machines ever built for personal flight. These aircraft are the result of ingenuity, passion, and a fascination with the skies. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button if you're as fascinated by these incredible machines as I am. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our contents on trendy topics and technology that you must know, like this one. Now, each one of on the list is a marvel of engineering, where less is truly more. Whether you're a flying enthusiast or just someone intrigued by the boundary by the boundaries of aviation, buckle up as we explore 15 of the smallest mini aircraft in the world. Let's start with an aviation classic, the Bade Bed 5 one of the most famous small aircraft ever. This tiny aircraft made waves back in the 1970s and even starred in the James Bond movie Octopussy. What makes the Bed 5 unique is its size at just around 12 feet in length. It's one of the smallest jets ever built. This single-seat aircraft can reach speeds of up to 300 miles per hour, depending on the model. But the original propeller version tops out at a little over 200 mph. But don't let its size fool you, it's a tricky plane to fly. The BD-5 small stature means there's very little room for error, but its lightweight frame offers unmatched maneuverability. It's been called the world's smallest fighter jet, and while that's an exaggeration, the BED-5 is certainly a dream for any pilot who craves a bit of excitement. Okay, if you thought the BED-5 was tiny, let me introduce you to the Cree Cree Menk 15, the smallest twin-engine plane in the world. This mini aircraft weighs just around 375 pounds and has a wingspan of under 17 feet. You heard that right, this thing is lighter than your average motorcycle. But don't underestimate it. Despite its diminutive size, the Cree Cry can hit speeds of around 130 mph, and it's got some serious power for such a small package. What really blows my mind is how this plane has become a DIY project for aviation enthusiasts around the world. People are actually building these in their garages. And if you've ever wanted to take to the skies with the hane that looks like it belongs in a cartoon, this is the one for you. Let's talk about the Stitzer II a Sky Baby, officially recognized as one of the smallest manned aircraft ever built. This thing is tiny. It's only about 9 feet long, with a wingspan of 7 feet 2 inches, which is shorter than most SUVs. Despite its miniature size, it was fully functional and could reach a top speed of 185 mph. Created back in 1952, the Sky Baby was more of a publicity stunt than anything else but it's still an incredible piece of aviation history. It's proof that when it comes to aircraft design, sometimes less really is more. Now we're entering the realm of record-breaking. Meet the Star Bumble BII, which held the Guinness World Record for the smallest piloted plane in the world. This thing is just over eight feet long with a wingspan of five feet six inches. Yes, you heard that right. It's got a wingspan shorter than most people at all. The Bumble BII could fly at speeds of 190 minth, which is insane for something that looks like a toy. It was built with the idea of making the smallest, most compact flying machine possible. And while it's no longer in the air, the Bumble BI I still holds a special place in the history of aviation innovation. The Nisus is a modern, ultralight aircraft designed for those who seek efficiency, sustainability, and a touch of adventure in the skies. Developed in Slovenia, the Nisus stands out as an eco-friendly alternative in the world of light aviation, boasting a fully electric propulsion system. This sleek, high-performance glider aircraft is perfect for pilots who enjoy quiet, fuel-free flying with minimal environmental impact. At just 550 pounds, 250 keg of empty weight, the Nisus is light, but don't let that fool you, this aircraft is built to perform. Its powerful electric motor enables it to achieve a cruising speed of 75 knots 86 mph, making it both efficient and reliable. It's also equipped with a retractable landing gear system and can perform a takeoff distance of just 300 meters 985 feet, ideal for shorter runways or grass strips. One of the standout features of the Nisus is its sailplane mode. Once in the air, pilots can take advantage of the glider's aerodynamic efficiency to extend flight times without the need for continuous motor power, giving it an impressive range. The wingspan of 14 meters 46 feet helps it glide effortlessly, offering a smooth and quiet flying experience. Perfect for both leisure flights and eco-conscious flying enthusiasts. The Nisus also comes with a modern glass cockpit, offering advanced avionics, a large LCD display, and intuitive controls, making it a cutting-edge choice for pilots who want the latest tech in their flying adventures. The cockpit is roomy enough to keep the pilot comfortable for extended flights, and its panoramic windows ensure excellent visibility. Here's where we get into the realm of jet-powered fun 
with the Sonics J62 Subsonics picture this, a single-seat, jet-powered mini-aircraft that looks like something straight out of a futuristic movie, and the best part. You don't need a massive runway or an air traffic controller to fly it. The Subsonics is known for its speed and maneuverability, reaching speeds of up to 300 mph. It's a personal jet that packs a punch in a tiny frame. You can buy it as a kit, put it together yourself, and be soaring through the sky in no time. The name says it all this plane is the airbike of the aviation world. The Ison airbike is a small, single-seat aircraft that's incredibly lightweight and is often flown with an open cockpit, making it one of the most thrilling mini-aircraft out there. It's powered by a simple engine and has an incredibly minimalistic design, just the basics of what you need to fly. This plane has become popular among ultralight enthusiasts and people who just want to feel the wind in their face while soaring over fields and valleys. It's affordable, fun, and makes you feel like you're flying a flying bicycle. The Archaeopteryx is an extraordinary small glider that blends the thrill of hang gliding with the engineering of a sailplane. Designed and manufactured in Switzerland by Aerolite, this single-seat aircraft is known for its lightweight build, maneuverability, and its ability to soar like a bird in thermal updrafts, much like its namesake the ancient Archaeopteryx. Weighing only about 110 pounds 50 kg empty, the Archaeopteryx is incredibly light yet capable of performing dynamic, powered flights and precision gliding. The wingspan of 13.6 meters 44.6 feet gives it exceptional glide performance, allowing it to reach high altitudes with minimal effort. Despite its small size, it's designed to handle complex aerodynamic conditions, making it ideal for adventurous pilots who enjoy pushing the boundaries of gliding. The Archaeopteryx is launched by various methods pilots can either foot launch it like a traditional hang glider or use a tow line or winch to get airborne. Once in the sky, the aircraft excels at exploiting thermals to stay aloft for extended periods. With speeds ranging from 30 to 60 mph, it's an agile and graceful machine that's perfect for those who enjoy the pure essence of flying. What really sets the Archaeopteryx apart from traditional small aircraft is its ability to provide an intimate connection with the environment. Pilots can feel every shift in air currents and use their skill to maximize flight efficiency, making it a truly immersive and exciting flying experience. Its open cockpit allows for an unparalleled view of the surroundings, offering pilots a bird-like experience with the wind in their face and the earth far below. Let's throw in something for the photographers out there. The AirCam is a mini-aircraft designed specifically for aerial photography. This twin-engine plane has an open cockpit, making it perfect for snapping photos or videos while flying low and slow over some epic landscapes. It was initially designed for National Geographic to explore and photograph the most remote parts of the world. And while it's a bit larger than some of the other planes we've discussed, the AirCam is still very much a small, lightweight aircraft built for exploration and creativity. The St1 Minisport is a standout among small aircraft, known for its lightweight design and impressive efficiency. Created by Egosiska, this single-seat ultralight plane is popular with amateur builders and sport pilots who appreciate both its simplicity and its performance. The Swan offers an incredible flying experience while staying within the limits of ultralight aviation regulations. Weighing around 240 pounds empty, the St1 Minisport is incredibly light, yet capable. The aircraft is powered by a range of engines, with the most popular choice being the Hearth F-33 or a Venerse Phase 1400 engine, which gives it a maximum cruising speed of 115 mph and a range of approximately 375 miles. This makes it suitable for both short recreational flights and longer cross-country trips, a testament to its versatility in the ultralight category. One of the main attractions of the St1 is its home-build kit option. Many enthusiasts opt to build their own St1, Thanks to its relatively straightforward assembly process, the airframe is primarily constructed from wood and composite materials, ensuring that the aircraft remains lightweight without compromising durability. Its low cost and efficiency make it a budget-friendly option for pilots seeking a personal aircraft that doesn't require heavy maintenance or fuel expenses. Inside the cockpit, the Stuan Minisport is designed with practicality in mind. While compact, it offers essential instrumentation for safe navigation and flying. The single-seat setup ensures a focused, streamlined flying experience, with excellent visibility from the cockpit, adding to its appeal for recreational pilots. Its nimbleness in the air makes it fun to fly, whether performing leisurely maneuvers or enjoying the serenity of solo flights. With its ability to take off and land on short airstrips, the St1 Minisport is perfect for pilots who operate from smaller runways or grass strips. It's also incredibly fuel-efficient, with operating costs lower than many comparable small aircraft, making it a go-to choice for pilots seeking an economical yet exciting aviation option. When you think of mini-aircraft, 
You don't usually imagine them having enough space for four people, right? Well, that's where the Sling TSI breaks the mold. Despite being compact, this aircraft offers seating for up to four people, making it one of the few small planes that's actually practical for both solo flights and family adventures. Developed by South African company Sling Aircraft, the TSI is known for its cutting-edge design and modern tech features, making it a favorite among flying enthusiasts who love to push boundaries. What makes the Sling TSI so unique is its balance between performance and efficiency. Powered by the impressive Rotax 915 ICE engine, this little beast can cruise at speeds up to 155 knots, about 178 mm, and has a maximum range of over 800 nautical miles. This means you could fly from New York City to Chicago without breaking a sweat and still have some fuel left over. And speaking of fuel, the TSI is incredibly economical, thanks to its high fuel efficiency. With its sleek design and lightweight build, you'll spend less time worrying about costs and more time enjoying the thrill of flying. Inside, the TSI doesn't disappoint either. It's equipped with a modern glass cockpit, which includes advanced avionics systems like the Garmin G3X touchscreen. This isn't just any mini aircraft, it's a luxurious, high-performance machine that feels more like a full-sized jet offering both comfort and cutting-edge tech in a compact frame. The Sling TSI has become popular for cross-country flying and recreational pilots looking for a powerful yet nimble machine. If you love the feeling of the wind in your face and open skies above, the Kolb Firestar is the perfect mini-aircraft for you. This ultralight aircraft has a cult following among aviation enthusiasts who appreciate its simplicity and thrilling open cockpit design. Weighing only about 254 pounds, this aircraft is so light that it almost feels like you're floating through the air on a bicycle with wings. The Firestar is designed for short, low-altitude flights, which makes it an excellent choice for hobbyist pilots or those looking to zip around local fields and airstrips. The Firestar is built around the idea of minimalism. There's no extra baggage, just you and the essentials you need to fly. Despite its bare-bones approach, the Firestar is surprisingly tough and reliable. It's powered by a small engine, typically a Rotax 447 or 503, which is more than enough to get you airborne with ease. And while it's definitely on the simpler side of aircraft, it still has a respectable top speed of 55 to 70 mm, depending on the engine. One of the great things about the Firestar is that it's incredibly easy to fly. Thanks to its lightweight design, it's very forgiving in the air, making it a fantastic choice for beginner pilots. The design allows for quick takeoffs and landings, which means you don't need a long runway. Perfect for those who want to take off from a nearby field or small airstrip and just enjoy the open sky. The Tango 2 might be a small plane, but it packs a punch in terms of speed and performance. This sleek, two-seater aircraft is a favorite among the home-built aviation community, largely because it's sold as a kit, allowing aviation enthusiasts to build it themselves. And while many kit-built planes are focused on the basics, the Tango 2 is a high-performance aircraft that's designed for speed, endurance, and comfort. At first glance, the Tango 2's streamlined design stands out. Its composite airframe gives it a modern and aerodynamic look, and that translates to serious performance in the air. It can reach speeds of up to 180 minfen and has a range of around 800 miles, making it a capable aircraft for long-distance flying. Whether you're flying cross-country or just taking a weekend trip, the Tango 2 can handle it all with ease. The cockpit is also a pleasant surprise for such a small aircraft. It's spacious and comfortable with ergonomic seating that makes even longer flights enjoyable. The aircraft is typically equipped with a Lycoming O320 or O360 engine, which provides reliable power and excellent performance. Pilots love the Tango 2 for its stable handling and responsive controls, which make it feel less like a kit-built plane and more like a high-end personal aircraft. No list of mini aircraft would be complete without mentioning the Rutan Quickie. This unique, single-seat aircraft is unlike anything you've ever seen. Designed by legendary aerospace engineer Bert Rutan, the Quickie is a marvel of unconventional design and efficiency. With its tandem wing configuration, where one wing is positioned in front of the cockpit and another at the rear, it almost looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. The Quickie's design isn't just for show, though. The tandem wing configuration reduces drag, allowing this tiny plane to glide effortlessly through the air. It's incredibly lightweight, weighing in at only 500 pounds fully loaded, and its small 18-horsepower engine is surprisingly efficient. Despite its size and low power, the Quickie can reach speeds of up to 120 minf and has a range of over 300 miles. It's proof that you don't need a massive engine to have a great time flying. Flying a Quickie is a truly unique experience. Its tandem wings give it a different feel than most planes, and it's known for being exceptionally smooth and stable in the air. Although it's a small and simple aircraft, the Quickie's innovative design makes it a favorite among pilots who enjoy the challenge of flying something different and quirky. It's truly a one-of-a-kind machine that showcases what's possible when you think outside the box in aviation design. 
Last but certainly not least is the Jane Haight 4 is a marvel of modern engineering and one of the smallest helicopters in the world. Developed in Japan by Gen Corporation, this tiny helicopter has redefined personal flight with its innovative and compact design. What makes the Jane H4 so unique is its extremely lightweight build, weighing just 154 pounds 70 ki, which is even lighter than some ultralight planes. The helicopter is powered by four small engines that drive twin coaxial rotors, meaning it doesn't require a tail rotor like traditional helicopters. This dual rotor system provides excellent stability and maneuverability, making it a surprisingly smooth aircraft to fly. The Jane Hay 4 can reach speeds of up to 56 mph and has a maximum flight time of around 30 minutes on a single tank of fuel, making it ideal for short, low altitude trips or personal recreational use. One of the most impressive features of the Jane in 4 is its ability to be flown with minimal training. Its intuitive controls make it user-friendly for those new to flying helicopters. Since it's so light, it falls under the ultralight aircraft category meaning it often doesn't require a formal pilot's license in many countries, though training is always recommended for safety. Its compact size also allows for easy storage and transport. You can essentially disassemble the Jane H4 and fit it into a small trailer or even a large car, making it incredibly practical for those who want the freedom to fly but don't have the space for a traditional helicopter. While it's not designed for long-distance travel or high altitudes, the Jane H4 is perfect for aviation enthusiasts who want to experience the thrill of personal flight without the complexities of larger aircraft. Its innovative design and ease of use make it a fascinating option for anyone looking to explore the skies in a truly unique way. And that's it. 15 of the smallest mini aircraft in the world, each with its own unique blend of innovation, speed and pure aviation magic. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more exciting content like this. Leave a comment below and let me know which mini aircraft you'd want to fly, or if there's another plane that should have made the list. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep dreaming big or in this case, small in the world of aviation. See you in the next video.